Today we are talking about all things product roadmaps. In case you are new, hello and thank you for stopping by and clicking on this video. My name is Anika and on this channel I talk about all things tech, business, startups, ideas, product and everything related to that. What is a product roadmap? Now I have made a video about product roadmap before and I will link that somewhere up above. Product roadmap is a way for you to visualize and summarize the strategy and direction of your product so you know where you want to get to with your product goals over a specific period of time. What a product roadmap isn't is a tool for product managers to dictate to engineering and other teams what is happening. Please get engineering input on your roadmaps from the get-go. You want engineering to be as excited about your roadmap as you are because at the end of the day they are going to be building it. Now, different companies will have different periods of time for which they like to define their roadmap. Typical tech companies will have a six to nine month roadmap and they'll have a longer two to three year vision or strategy. If you are working in a startup, you'll find that roadmaps are really, really hard to plan for. So startups will usually probably plan for three to maximum six months for their roadmap. And I want to iterate the difference between a vision and a roadmap. So your vision is like your North Star. It is your ultimate product goal. It is what drives the business every single day. And that is what you are constantly working towards. And it's probably going to take you a long time to get there. And your roadmap is kind of like the execution of different product goals in order to reach that vision. So as a startup, you will know what your ultimate vision is. And that can, of course, change as well. But you don't know exactly how you're going to develop your product in order to get there. Versus a larger tech company, your product roadmap needs to take into consideration that you will have a lot of teams. You will have a lot of people in each of those teams. You'll probably also have multiple products that work together um, that have dependencies on each other that are really complex uh, number one tip for putting together a roadmap is to one have a source of truth which is one single place where all of your product roadmap details are but to change the format of how you present the roadmap to people depending on who the audience is so the way that you present your roadmap to engineering is going to be very different to how you present it to a vp of product for example Okay, one of the main reasons I wanted to make this video is to talk about why you need a product roadmap. I have come up with six different reasons. So number one, you need a product roadmap in order to set and articulate a clear product direction. Now you could have a product vision and you could have a product strategy, but a roadmap is really laying out the plan for how you get to that vision. A vision without a plan is useless. Having that roadmap is going to allow other people to see exactly how you plan to get to that vision. Number two, you need a product roadmap so that you can share it with customers. If customers are evaluating whether they want to use a software product or not, they're going to want to know what the product does today. So what features and functionality does it have? What are the future features and future functionality that they might expect in using this product? Now, this is really, really prevalent in B2B software companies. So when you're selling software to large companies as your customer, because businesses make really big investments into purchasing software and licensing software. And once you integrate a piece of software into your business, it's often not that easy to replace it or change it. And so it's really important for customers to have visibility and transparency of where your product is going. Okay, the third reason you need a product roadmap is in order to discuss dependencies. A larger tech company will have potentially multiple products and really complex products where a lot of coordination is required between different teams. That also comes with dependencies. And so I find that a roadmap is a really good tool that product managers can use in order to discuss what they need and the work that they are planning to do with other product managers and other teams so that they can see when they might need to provide some kind of depending uh, product or depending service or depending support. The fourth reason you need a product roadmap is for hiring and delivery. So imagine if you went to your manager or whoever in your company makes decisions on how many people you will hire 
and you say to them, hey, I need 20 engineers in the next six months. The first thing they're gonna do is ask you why and what for. So a product roadmap, again, in this case, is a really, really good tool because you can basically say, this is what my team is planning to do over the next six to nine months. And we estimate that to do this work, we're going to need this many engineers in each quarter. In my experience, delivery usually sits with engineering in collaboration with product but it is led by engineering at larger tech company and delivery is basically you know how you execute the roadmap how many people are going to do the work how are they going to do the work what is the structure of each of the teams all that executional kind of stuff is what i mean by delivery okay the fifth reason you need a product roadmap and this is a huge one it is to bring people on board and to influence them so you may have heard that a big part of product management is influencing because you are accountable for the product, but you do not have direct authority of anyone actually building the product because engineers typically don't report directly into product. So how do you make people excited about the products they will be working on? How do you convince stakeholders to back your team and give you the resources that you need how do you make sure sales teams and customers uh, want to use your product and believe in the vision and direction that you're taking it? You need to influence them. And product roadmaps, again, they are literally your best friend and a tool by which means to communicate. Use your roadmaps to influence, to get people excited, rally people around your product idea and your product vision. The sixth reason I have for why you need a product roadmap is to get buy-in from stakeholders in order to get funding for your product. But this relates to the previous point around influencing people, influencing stakeholders who are going to sponsor your project in particular is really important. At that management level, who is making decisions on where money is going to go. Funding includes hiring potentially new product managers, hiring engineers, designers, everyone that you need in like a cross-functional product development team someone at the top needs to be on board with what you are doing use your product roadmap to get that person excited so how can you create your product roadmaps so i made a video a while ago which was pretty detailed into exactly what information should go into a roadmap so if you're interested in that level of detail definitely check out this video but today I want to share different tools that you can use depending on your preference, depending on your style. So I'm going to quickly go through these. Number one is Miro. Miro is a great tool if you are a very visual person and you want a very visual roadmap. But also a fun roadmap because Miro is quite a fun tool to use. It's also very affordable, if not completely free on one of their plans. They also have templates. So highly recommend checking out Miro. And if you have a remote team, then you can also very easily collaborate with them on a single roadmap in Miro. Number two is Notion. Notion is not as fun and visual and pretty as Miro, but it has some really sophisticated database functionality. It also has uh, free templates and it's a great option if you are looking for something completely free. If you're already using Notion, a lot of startups use Notion as their entire company workspace. It could work well for you and it's generally quite a simple tool. So if you're not looking to overcomplicate things, if you're looking to keep things simple, check out Notion. Number three is ClickUp. Now ClickUp is also quite visual, but it is more of a project management tool. So if you're already using ClickUp or you are also looking for something all in one for like project and work management, then the ClickUp roadmap templates could be for you. I believe they also have a free forever plan, also great for startups and also very good for remote teams because I believe ClickUp also has some built-in collaboration and communication tooling. Okay, number four is Asana. Again, Asana is a project management or task management software if you're looking for something more encompassing along those lines or if you're already using asana it could be a great tool they also have a free forever plan and they have product roadmap templates okay. six is google slides honestly i think google slides is so underrated when it comes to doing pretty much everything but i find it to be a great tool for product roadmaps i shared a template for my google slides roadmap before so i will link that somewhere and down below and you can check it out but if you want to keep things really simple you want to have complete control and flexibility of your roadmaps 
Just use Google Slides, especially if you're already using Google, you're familiar, there is no learning curve and it is just simple. So the products I've mentioned now are all free. I've got two more that are paid. Larger tech companies will typically decide if they're going to use Jira or Product Board. And Jira being a work management tool, project management, and Product Board is strictly product roadmaps, but they are paid. They are really good for big companies, big complex teams with a lot of moving parts. So I won't talk too much about them, but they definitely are there if you want to explore. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions about roadmaps, how to create them, what to include, challenges that you're having, or if you want to recommend other tools that you have used for creating roadmaps, please leave a comment down below and I will be responding to every single one of them. And if you are on TikTok, don't forget to check out my account. It is called The Product Pup and it's where I post literally all the time. So thank you again for watching this video and I will see you in my next one.